With iPadOS 15, we're taking this versatility further. And we started right on the home screen with widgets. Now you can place widgets among the apps on your home screen. I'll bring up the widget gallery. Here, you'll notice some new widgets, like the beautiful new Find My widget and the Contacts widget. Let's find a good spot for this towards the top here. Here's the new Apple TV widget. And here's my gaming page. And check out the new large size photo widget. And with this larger files widget, I can keep tabs on all my work projects. We wanted to make it easier to get to all of your apps. So we've brought App Library to iPad. You can see all my apps are here, automatically categorized for me. And what's really cool is we built access to App Library right into the dock. So no matter where you are, you can always get to your apps. And now that you have App Library, you can hide pages that you no longer need. Just like this. Tapping on it reveals the multitasking menu. From here, I can take an app full screen or work with two apps at the same time by creating a split view or slide over. I'll tap on the split view icon, and the app slides to the edge of the screen, giving me quick access to my home screen, where I can select from any of my apps. It's also really easy to switch apps in split view. If I want to replace Ferrite, I can swipe down, and Notes moves aside, letting me pick another app from the home screen. In Mail, I can touch and hold on this message to open it centered on my screen. This allows me to read the entire email without leaving my current view. And I have the same multitasking controls here too, so I can easily move this into split view or slide over. Let's go to Safari, and you'll see that the shelf appears automatically when I switch apps. And now I can just tap to quickly switch between them. I can also add or remove windows right here from the shelf. I can now create a split view just by dragging one app over another. We now have a new set of keyboard shortcuts that let you do all of this without lifting a finger. This year, we're adding powerful new features for collaboration and organization. First, we're adding mentions. Just mention someone in a shared note, and they'll get a notification linking them back. There's also an all-new activity view that quickly shows you what's changed in a shared note while you were away. And to give users new ways to organize their notes, we're adding tags. You can add a tag anywhere in your note, and then use the tag browser to quickly find your notes. Quick Note is a fast and easy way to get to a note no matter what you're doing. When I swipe, the note appears out of the corner of the screen. It's perfect for jotting down something like a phone number. And when I'm done, I just swipe it away. What's super cool about Quick Note is that it's aware of the app I'm using. I'll start a new Quick Note on top of Safari, and now I can easily add a link from the website into my Quick Note. I can tap this link anytime to return to this exact site. Let's go to a website I added a link to earlier. A small thumbnail pops up in the corner that allows me to quickly get back to my Quick Note containing any useful information I found. You'll notice this text highlighted on the page. I added this text to my Quick Note, and tapping on a link from a highlight takes me right to the content on the page. I can add a link from almost any app I'm using, including third-party apps. Here's a link from Yelp, and if I tap, it takes me right to the restaurant listing. I can swipe across my Quick Note to see my most recent ones, and any time I want to see all my Quick Notes, I can find them right where you'd expect, in Notes. Quick Notes can be created on iPadOS and macOS, and you can access and edit them later on iOS. But we're excited to bring Translate to iPad, with experiences that leverage iPad's unique capabilities, like practicing handwriting in another language with Apple Pencil, or translating right next to your document with Split View. And Translate was designed for conversations, so we're making conversations feel easier and even more natural with Auto Translate. Auto Translate detects when you're speaking and in which language, so no one needs to tap a button to respond. Just speak and let Translate do the rest. We're also excited to announce system-wide translation. So you can translate text anywhere. Just select the text and tap Translate. With live text, you can even translate text in a photo. System-wide translation is available on iPadOS, iOS, and macOS. Let's talk about Swift Playgrounds. This year, we're taking it even further by adding the ability to build apps on iPad. 
You build these apps with Swift UI, which makes development easy. The code you write is immediately reflected in the live preview of your app. This new project type even works with Xcode on Mac. Swift Playgrounds now supports improved code completion. So you can just start typing and quickly add the suggestion to your code. You also have access to the whole library of UI components and the documentation to go with it. And if you're new to app development, there's a guide to creating your first app. And when you're ready, you can even submit it to the App Store. You can now build apps for iPhone and iPad on iPad.